we're gonna talk Welcome about everyone it. to the most hated podcast. As always, I'm Brogan. Here's my fucking sidekick, Keith. And uh, we got a special guest tonight who's got a really high pitched girl in the My son, Derek Mike. Tonight, we're watching uh, WWE Payback and also discussing uh, the friend zone. And uh, girls putting guys in it, guys putting girls in it. How does it work? How can you get into it? Can you get out of it? Hey, we're doing a podcast. Come down the educated yeah, why are you being a dick? Yeah, don't be a jerk, jerk bike. Do they read? How many girls have you put in this friend zone, dirt bike? Just a little bug? Alright, plus one. Or little bug. Pat Patterson on WWE.com, the first ever Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, Patricia's my friend. But anyway, we've, uh, we've all been the victim of being put in the friend zone in the past. I'm sure every guy out there can relate. And it's always like the chick that you really like, she puts you in the friend zone and she ends up with a total douchebag and she always says the classic line like, if we weren't such good friends, then we'd get together. Yeah. What's your feelings on that, Keith? What, that, that line in particular, how do you feel about that? Here's the cover, five bear, of course, back part of a legend's house. I, I'm being attacked by Dirt Bike, hold on. Dirt Bike is attacking and driving the sleeper. Hold on, buddy, we're, we're recording something. We'll play, we'll play in a little bit, okay? Yeah, dick face. Yeah, we'll give you Hogan punch. Oh, you minute. sucker punch me. <laughs> you gotta smell your own feet? Oh, don't make him do it. His feet are fucking right. Oh, ho, ho, you're blocked. <laughs> give him the airplane an uppercut. Finish it. <laughs> you lost. Uh... You lost. I I put people in the friend zone. It's fucking awesome. Getting put in, the, getting put in there yourself sucks. What 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 line did you use when you put people in the friend zone? What do you say? Like you don't uh, want to ruin the friendship? I, I, yeah, I I was like I think we're better off as friends. And I don't and I don't don't want to try anything because I think you're like a sister. Now now that you've said that to somebody, do you do you feel like if somebody said it to you, it's like it's fair right now? No, I'll be like fuck you. <laughs> I'm like I don't I don't need more friends, bitch. No, nope. that's the way I feel, man. I've already, I've already got enough. Like, I, I, I don't think I've been in the friend zone. Like, I, I did some thinking about it since we talked about it yesterday. You're fine. But since we talked about it yesterday. And I, I said that I had been put in the friend zone. But I've, I've worked my way out of it. And Keith was like, you never were in the friend zone. Yet. And I think Wait. you're right. Wait, who is it? You were in the friend zone? Yeah. I, I, well, I was just saying, like, because I've slept with chicks that are my friends. So I think that's the my the difference. I was never in the friend zone. Uh-huh. It was just they were potential. They were just yeah. waiting in the wings. Exactly. They they never friend zone you. They're like they're like, hey, you need to come help all my boy problems. Yeah, I think you did, might. Did, be they, right. did they help your boy problems? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to choke you so you stop yelling. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm trying to record. Why do you have to be such a nuisance? You turd. Yeah. Hey, don't choke me. What the? Heck? He sucker punched me. I know. He's a fucking dirty fighter. What? Wait, hold on, don't fall, don't fall. Ah, stop choking me! <laughs> yeah, um... The friend zone sucks, it's bullshit. I remember yesterday that... I, I ra- I'd rather somebody just tell me, like, hey, I don't like you, than, hey, yeah, then, I, like, just, I just want to... Yeah, like, or be honest with me, be like, yeah. I'm not just not into you in that way. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, girls are always trying to defend your feelings or whatever. Are they? Yeah, I mean, they are. Cause they, they know that you serve a purpose. Watch your wrestling, buddy. Oh, that was good. Bad News Barry just fucking put the boots to fucking Rob Van Dam. Yeah, that's what he fucking gets. You mean a dick. 28 stone. You don't, you don't eat your boogers. I've got some bad news for you, you. dirt boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a douchebag. You're four. Look at his beard. It looks stupid. Everyone has a beard. It's a goat. But, okay, and also when we were at the park today, you said there was another topic that you wanted to discuss, and I can't recall what it was, but you seemed to be very adamant about it. Was it, I don't know, was it about if we had if we had books written about us? Oh, yes, the titles of our biographies. We'll get, we'll get back to that in a minute. Because I think okay. this Friend Zone thing needs a little bit more fleshing out here. Okay. Like, I've seen millions of posts about it online. Everybody has their own, I'm stuck in the Friend Zone story, my hot, attractive friend that I want to bang is getting out with an asshole. But really, if you're only friends with a chick because you want a banger, doesn't that kind of make you an asshole? Like, aren't you just as bad as the guys that she's banging that are assholes? No. But you, you're trying to make your intentions clear. Well, or, or you're not making You're it. not. You're, you're just trying to be her friend in the hopes that one day she'll... You'll, what? You're all out, buddy. You're out in the car. I'll get you one when we're done, okay? 
We, we no, nah, I wasn't trying. Okay, but like I said, are you as big an asshole as the guy she ends up with? If you're just trying to be her friend, only in the hopes that you'll be able to bang her one day. Yes. Because okay. uh, you're just, you're just, you're not, you don't really give a shit about her. You're just trying to fuck her. Exactly. But however, if she's, if she's continually like putting you in the situation like that and like asking you things like that, like in a friend zone kind of shit. Yeah, like if you legitimately started off as friends. She's, if, she's putting, if she's putting you in the friend zone, I have no problem with you trying to fuck her because you're not going to probably anyway. Yeah. And, but I think that if, if, if you guys started off as friends and like it worked out where you, you started to have feelings for her over time, you know, it's, it's shitty of her to be like, oh, I like you, but... Like if you're, if you're, an, emotional, if you're an emotional tampon for her... Then she's she should be that guy. Yeah, I think most people because isn't isn't the tra- isn't the point of trying to hang out with the chick you're trying to bang her anyway? Yeah, pretty much. Like, or she or she's hanging out with you because she wants to bang you. Girl, I don't legitimately enjoy our company. You yeah, just no, want to subconsciously. We don't us. even like hanging around each other. Why would you want to? Because we're smelly and we're stupid and loud and we're gross. That's why they like us because we're different than them. Yeah, that's true. And they want to fix us. Stop trying to fix me! I'm not you're broken. John Cena. You're, not, you're John Cena. Oh, I guess we got John Cena. Yeah, here we have a special guest, John Cena, on the podcast. I don't know what happened. Did he's you get trying sma- to like. He's trying to break my arm over here. Did you get smashed in the testicles, bro? Because your voice is a little higher than it is on TV. Oh my god, you're breaking my arm. What are you doing? You're breaking my arm, I'll break your heart. You're breaking my heart! How could you break my heart? (laughs) 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 Hogan punches. John Cena is at wrestling. John Cena didn't wrestle. Right now it's Bad News yeah. Barrett and Rob Van Dam. Bad News Barrett and Rob Van Dam. B and B versus R V D. B B D. Oh shit! He's gonna. B-B-D-A. He's not gonna hit it. Uh oh. Oh. He didn't even go for it. He didn't even he missed. Do, he didn't even go for it. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna get him with the bull hammer. He's got bad news for you, Rob Van Dam. I got some bad news. Your dirty wanker! Oh, oh no! It's a wiki plonka! He's a wiki plonka! What? He would have got the win on this. Winds of change! Oh, the winds of change! Oh, he kicked out. Damn, you excited. Yeah! Yeah! We're cheering for him. Yeah, we're cheering for Rob Van Dam. Or we're cheering for Ben. I don't know, I like them both. I like them both. <laughs> this, ma- this match means more to Barry. Oh. Oh. He broke his fucking arm! He's a wiki plunker. Alright. He's got some bad news for you. I've got some bad news. I've got some bad news for you. You're gonna get knocked out, bitch. You're about to get knocked the fuck off. Oh to me. shit, that was a pretty impressive DDT. Uh, oh, he kicked out. How do we have a out. How do we have a last man standing when one of the participants is a little girl? Yeah. Why are you a little girl? You're a girl. <laughs> you a boy? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Bullhammer! He looks like he got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, dude, he saw that. He saw that legit- really well. Either he legitimately got hit by it, or he was like so well. Like, you can tell he's my son. <laughs> he's really nice. Yeah, at times like this, like you can just definitely tell. Uh, what? He just, he just yells out. Like, what are you doing? Excited? Bad news, Barrett! Yay! I got the bad news for you. Yay, bad news for you. I'm gonna rip your nipples off. How about that? I'm gonna rip your nipples off. You want, you want your nipples ripped off? Alright, you ready to get a drink? You ready to get a drink? You wanna get a drink? Let me go grab you a drink. Sit right here. Be quiet. Keep the crowd entertained. Yeah, you got it. Be funny. Be funny. Tell, tell them jokes, okay? Tell them jokes, buddy. Alright, you got any jokes? Oh, jokes, right? In, I got a joke for you. I got a joke, chicken. Alright, tell the joke. Chicken. Chickens? <laughs> well, uh, co-host Brandon has went to go get dirt bike a drink. 
What, what do you want? You want root beer? All right, he's gonna give you some root beer then. Bad news, Barrett, with the win. We like him though. We like him though. I know it's okay that he's a bad guy because we like him anyway. He's a good bad. He's a good bad guy though. He has to be bad because they made him be a bad guy. Yeah, he's flying. You see that? Where, where's John Cena at? He needs to come out here and beat these guys up. Yeah, he will. I don't think he has any choice. Not either. He can always pop up once. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the most important decision. I'm going to buy news for you. Right there. Oh, uh, Daniel Bryan coming out to give up the title? Yep. They're, they're doing that segment now. I don't know if I should give you this. You're already kind of sugared up. He'll, he'll either get jacked up or he'll be out very quickly. I want to assume he's going to be jacked up for a little while. Then he's going to crash hard. Mostly because I'm going to fucking put him in a tombstone through a table. Yeah, exactly. You're going to have a lot of energy as that fucking choke bomb your ass, right? You know. That you know. You know. Did you bang Stephanie? Yeah. I'd date bang Nipple H, no problem. Nipple H. <laughs> I let Triple H watch. But would I lick her butt? Yeah. You wanna lick her butt? No, sir. Why not? Triple H has already been in there. So? You got a dirty dick. <laughs> hey. Jared, John Cena probably has a dirty dick too. It's worse than they thought. Yeah. He's he's breaking banging fake titty Nikki. That there's no shame in handing over this title. Healing, coming back stronger than ever, and becoming champion again. No, he's gonna take off the neck There's brace. No okay. shame in think so? This I think it's a ruse the, the whole time. Yeah, because like that that particular neck brace literally does nothing for you. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, that's like the the, the cinematic but neck brace. It's not about me. This that's the neck about brace that every fucking guy who's faked a neck injury has worn the entire time. <laughs> I only fake neck injuries. Your husband and won this title at WrestleMania for. You're yep. not doing this for them, you're doing this for you. If I just handed these titles over to you, I got some bad news for you. I got, I got some bad news. news. While you've been faking a neck injury, I've been faking having a big dick. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't even get deep mouth. So, yeah, this uh, podcast has turned into a little bit of a mess, but. Uh, Hope you guys uh, dig my kid. He's a no. little bit rambunctious. No. 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 We'll try this again some other time. Uh, this has been the world's most hated podcast. We're signing out. Peace.